The United States is blessed with almost 12,500 miles of coastline. And that's just the 48 contiguous states plus Alaska and Hawaii. If you include all US territories, it's a lot more. However one looks at it, the US has lots of coastal area and that means a lot of beach towns. Many of these towns are truly amazing, geographically, culturally and historically. And each has its reasons to claim a place amongst our planet's beach paradises. They are all unique and thus uniquely beautiful. If one were to start in our own far northeast and travel clockwise to our west coast, then up that coast to our northwest, hop over to Hawaii and then back to the mainland, that person would have passed several hundred beach towns. We've picked 16 to stop briefly and take a look at and talk about a little. Number 1. Bar Harbor, Maine As we begin our journey in the northeast, our first stop would undisputedly be Bar Harbor, Maine. Bar Harbor has long been considered the crown jewel of the Maine coastline. Adjacent to Acadia National Park, one of the most visited national parks in the country, with the northeast's tallest mountain, Cadillac Mountain, Bar Harbor's population is only slightly over 5,000 people, but its popularity in the warmer months turns it into a fairly bustling tourist destination, claiming more than 2 million visitors each year. Bar Harbor actually rests upon Mount Desert Island, pronounced desert, because it's such a treat. It's tough to not be enamored with its quaint feel, stunning beaches and access to both saltwater and freshwater lakes. Popular water activities include kayaking, fishing and canoeing. The island also offers 25 trails to take in amazing sunrises and scenic vistas. The small city itself has long been a popular summer vacation destination, ever since the 19th century when powerful American families built their summer cottages, some having now been converted to charming inns and B&Bs. Today the town is as vibrant as ever. Main Street is lined with shops, boutiques and some spectacular dining. With Acadia next door and the working waterfront encircling it, Bar Harbor captures something quintessentially Maine. Let's head a little further south to number 2, Provincetown, Massachusetts. Provincetown, situated at the far tip of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, in intensely beautiful surroundings including vast sand dunes and more than 30 miles of beach, is known for its warm welcome to people of all types. You can enjoy sunbathing on tranquil Herring Cove, strolling the white sands of Race Point Beach and checking out the colorful downtown area with everything from great seafood shacks to art galleries, grand mansions and fine eateries, bookstores and coffee houses. This top Cape Cod destination is also a great spot for whale watching. Now let's head south out of the northeast, all the way to the beginnings of the southeast, to number 3, Beaufort, North Carolina. North Carolina's crystal coast is 85 miles of gorgeous sand, most of which can be found forming offshore banks that shelter the mainland. Just inside this protective layer you'll find one of the first English settlements in North Carolina, the town of Beaufort, established in 1709. A slew of publications has awarded Beaufort as the USA's coolest small town, and even its favorite town. It lays claim to be one of the most charming beach towns in the US, thanks to its pretty waterfront docks and wild horses that live and roam freely through the Rachel Carson Reserve. Number 4. Hilton Head, South Carolina The sand on Hilton Head, South Carolina's white shoreline stands out for being fairly hard-packed, making it perfect for long beach bike rides. Although frequently very crowded due to its many amenities, Coligny Beach Park remains one of the area's favorite options. If you're looking for a local jam, try Dreesen Beach Park, a less crowded version of Coligny, or the Wilder Mitchellville Beach, better for exploring than swimming. If you want to learn more about the flora and fauna that live in this area, take in the Coastal Discovery Museum. Hilton Head is also well known for its many championship golf courses and the famous tennis courts at the Palmetto Dunes Oceanfront Resort. Number 5. Cumberland Island, Georgia You'll be taking a ferry from St. Mary's in southern Georgia to one of the country's most secluded parks. Cumberland Island National Seashore boasts maritime forests, wetlands and more than 17 miles of untouched beachfront. Chances are you'll spot feral horses running free, 
loggerhead sea turtles nesting and armadillos foraging for food during your visit. Comp the beach for fossilized shark teeth or hike the South End Loop past the Dungeness Estate ruins. And you might want to consider reserving a campsite at one of the island's five campgrounds to allow yourself an evening stargazing. Now let's head down to take a look at a few of Florida's beaches. Number 6. Hollywood Beach Families love this destination for its safe, clean shore. As a matter of fact, Hollywood Beach has been designated a Blue Wave Clean Beach by the Clean Beaches Council. Its beach boardwalk, a car-free brick promenade lined with shops, restaurants and hotels, runs along the palm-lined Atlantic Beach and is perfect for biking, jogging, rollerblading, pushing strollers or riding tricycles. For swimming or sunbathing, head to Hollywood North Beach, where the amenities include concessions, a picnic area, fishing, volleyball and an observation tower. You might want to take a break from the sun by checking out Charno Park, a beachfront park on the boardwalk that features shaded seating picnic pavilions, playgrounds and an interactive fountain. Or take the kids to Castaway Island at Topeki Yugni Park, a water park with slides, concessions and a special pool just for toddlers. Number 7. Key West, Florida Located closer to Cuba than to Miami, Key West is Florida's irreverent southernmost subtropical paradise, a unique confluence of history, climate, natural beauty, cultural diversity, architecture and, well, romantic appeal. Palm-lined streets with gingerbread mansions and tin-roofed conch houses were home to Tennessee Williams, Elizabeth Bishop, Robert Frost and Jimmy Buffett. A few of the famous people who discovered solace and inspiration in the island city, whose Bahamian and Cuban heritage largely shaped by Bahamian wreckers, commercial fishermen, sponsors and Cuban cigar makers. Residents and visitors alike participate in sightseeing, diving, fishing, water sports, golfing and shopping by day, and then become part of the sunset celebration held every evening at Mallory Square, when tightrope walkers, jugglers, mimes and animal eggs perform before the spectacular sunset into the Gulf of Mexico. Number 8. Fort Myers Beach, Florida No matter what you're into, or even if all you want is bathe in the sun, Fort Myers Beach has it all. On the shores of this Gulf Coast beach, you'll find outfitters for jet skiing, parasailing, sailing, windsurfing, water skiing, boating and surf biking as well as charter fishing boats for deep sea fishing. Also jet ski and boat charters offer dolphin sighting tours. Skimboarding is popular here, and you can even ride bikes on some portions of the beach where the sand is hard packed. The diversity of activities, the gently sloping white shoreline and the miles of white sand make Fort Myers a favorite for families. The heart of the action is at the north end of the beach, near the pier and the Times Square shopping, dining and entertainment district. The southern end of the beach is somewhat quieter. As you're heading west toward California, let's stop and spend some time at number 9. Ocean Springs, Mississippi Called the City of Discovery, Ocean Springs lives up to its nickname. Located right at the heart of the Gulf Coast, this town is Mississippi renowned for the lustrous waters of Front Beach. When it comes to learning and discovery, you have a slew of museums to pick from. Between the Walter Anderson Museum of Art, which celebrates the works of the American painter Walter Inglis Anderson, Mississippi Vietnam Veterans Memorial, built in granite, and the Ocean Springs Museum of History. Now we'll take a very long hop west and land in California, perhaps the states along with Hawaii, best known for amazing beaches. Let's first look at number 10, La Jolla Cove, California. Although La Jolla Cove is popular for swimming, it's best to swim at low tide, because the water can get rough. Low tide is also the best time to check out the tide pools that form when the waters recede. The beautiful little sandy beach protected by high cliffs is also known for its snorkeling. The La Jolla Coast Walk Trail is situated above the beach, and seals and sea lions are spotted on this walk. You'll find this true gem of a beach in the Allen Cribs Park, about 12 miles north of San Diego. Number 11. Laguna, California. Laguna Beach treats its visitors to cascading verdant hillsides, breathtaking coastal parks and secluded beaches. It is located right on the Pacific Coast Highway between San Diego and Los Angeles. 
It truly is the type of destination so beautiful you have to see to believe it. And when you do, you'll be in awe of its splendor. The town has a penchant for the arts that can be found not only at the many galleries that line the Pacific Coast Highway, but also run alongside the streets. There are over 100 public art pieces spread throughout town. There is also a deep appreciation for the flora and fauna here. Whale watching is very popular, and the headquarters for the rescue and rehabilitation for the Orange County Coast Seal population is here. The town is home to plenty of wildflower-filled coastal parks, including one of the last preserved coastal canyons in Southern California. Heading north, and actually a part of Los Angeles, is number 12, Venice, California. Venice was developed as a Los Angeles beach resort that paid homage to its Italian namesake with canals, piazzas, pedestrian bridges, a lagoon and a colonnaded business district. Venice's original waterways and charming beach cottages can still be seen in the Venice Canal Historic District. Today, however, Venice is best known for its beachfront boardwalk, where mimes, jugglers, musicians and street performers of all kinds have created a vibrant and very unique environment. You can choose to just sit and watch it all from the waterfront skate park, or grab a conga drum and join the circle if there is one going on. Watch or join one of the better pickup basketball games you may ever see or stop by Muscle Beach Gym, once the home turf of Arnold Schwarzenegger. On Venice's south side, the chic Abbott Kinney Boulevard contains a mile-long stretch of high-end restaurants, posh galleries and boutiques selling furnishings and fashions. On the first Thursday of every month, food trucks and live music line the boulevard, although you can find live music any night in one of the many eateries or bars. If you're visiting LA and want to know more things to do, watch our LA bucket list video. If you continue north, past Santa Monica, you'll hit number 13, Malibu, California. This famously beautiful seaside city sits just about 20 miles west of central Los Angeles. With so many options, it can be difficult to decide which beach to visit in this area. Suma Beach extends for two miles and features strong surfing waves and whale watching opportunities. Surfrider Beach is one of the most popular spots for surfing and is located just next to Malibu Pier. Just north of Suma Beach, El Matador State Beach offers striking views of cliff formations. Another famous beach is Point Doom State Beach, where you might want to take the short hike at the Point Doom Nature Trail for a picture-perfect vista of the Pacific Ocean and the surrounding mountains. Malibu is famous not only for its spectacular beaches, but its many museums including the Getty Villa, lots of great restaurants, its boutique shopping and the many celebrities who live there. So let's take our leave of California and head to number 14, Cannon Beach, Oregon. Cannon Beach is easily the most famous in Oregon. The actual beach is huge. The shore spans four miles, leaving plenty of space to spread out in the sand. The surrounding area is also beautiful. The beach is backed by hilly woodlands and boasts haystack rock, a more than 200 foot tall landmark that gulls and tufted puffins call home. If you're at the beach at low tide, it's worth doing some exploring of tide pools that form. You'll find sea stars and colorful anemones. So now we're going to leave the contiguous 48 and take a long hop to the state of Hawaii, island of Kauai, and visit number 15, Hanalei Bay, Hawaii a heart-stopping bay backed by 4,000-foot emerald mountains. Hanalei is technically several beach parks, rolled into one magnificent two-mile swath along Kauai's north shore. During the winter season, the waves come out to attract the surf crowd, but in the summer months, the waters are more tranquil and suitable for swimming. There are times you can see not just one end-to-end -end double rainbow, but two in different sections of the sky. Sitting at the top of Hanalei was the source of the inspiration for the writing of Peter, Paul and Mary's Puff the Magic Dragon. Number 16. Kailua, Hawaii. Kailua, meaning two seas or two currents, got its name from either the two lagoons that can be found on the island or the two currents that run through Kailua Bay. Although not the huge tourist magnet that is Honolulu, this smaller town in Oahu has great flair. Located on the windward side of Oahu, Kailua is the queen of lush, ultra-green foliage. You can spend the day basking in the glorious Kailua Beach Park, take a helicopter tour or engage in some wine tasting at Winery Oeno. 
So I think we've established a couple of things. The United States has a lot of beachfront, with a lot of organized beaches. And beaches tend to be pretty interesting places. We've pointed out 16 of our total well into the hundreds of beaches in this country. We're not saying they are the best. We are saying that they are all in some way especially wonderful spots. If you're interested in even more beach towns, watch this video about the 21 most charming ones in California.